Good morning, grade 2. I'm back for a second lesson in Social Studies UAE for this week. Today is March 21, 2020, and I hope all of you are feeling good. Let's have a short review of what we had last Monday, and it's all about Lesson 8, Tourism. Okay, so what does tourism mean? Yes, tourism is the commercial organization and operation of holidays and visits to places of interest. You have learned also about different places and events, right? And these places are natural landscapes, historical sites, and modern attractions. What is natural landscape and what is also historical site? Yes, natural landscape is an original landscape that exists before it is active, acted upon by human. And historical sites are official locations where pieces of political, military, cultural, or social history have been preserved due to their cultural heritage value. They may be any buildings, landscapes, sites, or structures that are of local, regional, or natural significance okay okay so now let's press okay give me examples of modern attractions that you have seen in the picture yes they are ferrari world team park in abu dhabi i have the emirates Sharjah, and dreamland water park in um al queen okay where is this uh location yes it is Fujaira, or what is that location? Yes, Fujaira Fort. So that is example of historical site. Yes. Okay, give me another example. Yes, Daya, Daya Fort in Ras Al Kaima. Okay, that one. Where is that? Yes, Ajman Museum. And it, it is example of Yes, natural landscape. Give me another natural landscape that you have seen in the picture. Okay. Go, yes, global village. Okay. So these are the things that you must remember. Okay. People from all over the world come to visit the UAE. They come to visit the modern attractions, natural landscapes, historical sites, and more. Tourists come to take part in events that usually happen during the cooler months of the year. Tourists spend money while they visit. They stay at hotels, use airports, and buy goods from shopping centers and mall, malls. So definitely these things benefit the UAE. Okay, that's why tourism is an important way that people make money in the UAE. Okay. So, a car race, like Formula One race, okay? One of the events that happen during the cooler months in UAE. A car race competition that happens every year. What else? Yes, Expo 2020 Dubai UAE. Okay, it is an event that will happen once and will last for six months. And it will give, it will gather businesses from all, all around the world to show their products what else yes dubai shopping festival what it's all about it is an event that encourages people to shop by offering discounts and entertainment at malls okay now let's proceed to our lesson we are now in lesson nine which is about emergency okay at the end of the lesson, you will be able to recognize different kinds of emergencies, recall what to do in case of an emergency, remember the emergency numbers, and understand what to do in case of fire. Okay, so these are the words that you will learn today. First is immediate, which, is an, which means instant or done at once. Emergency, a serious Unexpected and often dangerous situation requiring, requiring immediate action. Prevent. Keep something from happening. 
outlet a socket that connects an electrical device to an electricity supply. Crawl. Move forward on the hands and knees by dragging or by dragging the body close to the ground. Lighter. A device that produces a small flame, especially one used to light cigarettes. Okay? Okay, now tell me what is happening in the pictures that I'm going to show you. Okay, this one. Yes, a child is fainting in heat. This one. A person choking. Yes. This one. Yes, a car accident. Last. Yes, house on fire. Okay. Each picture is showing an emergency case. Okay, what comes first thing in your mind if you encounter an emergency? Yes, you call an emergency response units. Okay, what, sh uh, what should you do in case of emergency? Yes, when an emergency happens, you have to act quickly. It is important to know who to call for immediate help okay here in the uae emergency response units are always ready and will come immediately okay so here are the contact numbers of the emergency response units in the uae okay 997 for fire department 998 for ambulance and 997 for police okay so they are very easy to memorize, right? Very good. To help in emergency situations, stay calm and call one of the emergency numbers. It is important to remember these numbers by heart so you can help in case of any emergency that happens around you. Okay? So memorize those numbers. Again, 999-4997 for fire department, 998 for ambulance, and 997 for police. So this is 997 for fire department, okay? Okay, let's check your... Let's, let me test your knowledge, okay? Going back to the different emergencies being shown a while ago, tell me what kind of emergency and what number you would call for help. So this one is, yes, it is child fainting in heat and the emergency contact number that you are going to call for help is 9984 ambulance. Very good. This one, again, yes, person choking. What emergency unit? Yes, 9984 ambulance. How about car accident? Yes, 9984 ambulance, of course, and 9994 police. Okay, okay, good job. In case of fire, here are the things how to deal with it. And for you to stay safe, okay? How about the fire? Yes, 998 for fire department. So in case of fire, okay, here are the tips. Or the things how to deal with it and for you to stay safe, okay? Don't play with matches and lighters. Don't plug many devices into a single outlet. Don't play in the kitchen or near a stove. If there's a fire, get low and get out. If fire is near, crawl to safety to stay away from smoke. Stop, drop, and roll if your clothes catch fire. Okay? Leave your things behind and get out. If there's a fire, use the stairs, not the lift. If your heart, if you hear there's a fire, never hide in closet or under the bed. Follow the escape 
plan in your school, okay, or in your building. If you remember, we had fire drill in the school, right? And we followed the fire escape plan. We exit to the nearest gate from our classroom, okay? Last is, once in a safe place, call 997 for fire department, okay? Okay, let's answer activity four. From the enumerated tips, what are the things to be to prevent fire? And what are the things that you should do if there's a fire emergency? Okay, let's go first to how to prevent a fire. From the emergency tips that I gave you, what are those? Yes, don't play with matches and lighters. What else? Yes, don't plug many devices into a single outlet. What else? Yes, don't play in the kitchen or near a stove. Very good. Now, let's go to what to do in case of fire emergency. So, what are you going to do in case of fire? Yes, if there's a fire, get low and get out. Yes, if fire is near, crawl to safety to stay away from smoke. Yes, stop, drop, and roll if your clothes catch fire. Leave your things behind and get out. Okay, what else? If there's a fire, use the stairs, not the lift. Okay, what else? Yes, if you hear this of fire, never hide in closet or under the bed. Oh, what else? Yes, follow the escape plan in your school or in your building. Last, yes, once in a safe place, call 997 for fire department. Very good. So here is your task for the day. We are going to do activity 5, fire safety, page 79, okay? So you're going to ask your parents about your home fire escape plan. So here is an, a sample, okay? Okay. You're going to do that in your portfolio in social studies. Okay, so before I leave, I want to share this uh growth mindset for you for all of you so don't be afraid of being a beginner meaning that don't be afraid to try something new we are not born knowing anything when you learn to walk did you did you fall a lot yes of course that's all part of learning process okay if you die if you die if you decided to get to quit, you would never ever learn. So always remember that. Okay? So this is all for now. Thank you for watching and listening. Stay safe and see you next week. Bye.